What year was Kawhi Leonard drafted into the NBA? Was it 2009, 2010, 2011, or 2012? If you guessed 2011, then you just earned some BC. You know what, Alexis? Let's give the people a chance. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. It's a very special day on the calendar. Noche Latina, commemorating the NBA's connection to Latin heritage and culture. Moments away, it'll be the Phoenix Suns up against the Dallas Mavericks here at their home, American Airlines Center. And along with Grant Hill and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Ali LaForce, our reporter. Ali, it's all yours. The Mavericks last season traded away Kristaps Porzingis. Can they find a new number two? Coach Jason Kidd said, quote, we'll see. It could be we'll have no second score, just guys that play roles at a high level. And you see teams win championships that way, too. I have to put guys in position to be successful and find a way to win. Brian. Thanks, Ali. Well, Grant, it's an interesting battle for playoff seating. The intensity is ramped up, that's for sure. Yeah, B.A., you can feel that intensity ramping up. And, of course, there's lots of twists and turns this time of year. One night you can be up, and the next night you're down. It's emotionally taxing as well as physically. So let's take a look at the Phoenix Suns starting lineup. The deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt. Kevin Durant is out there with Torrey Craig. And it's Aiton in at the five, roaming the paint. And for the Mavericks, Reggie Bullock is out there with Josh Green. Then it's Kyrie Irving. Then there's Dwight Powell. And it's Don. Chichen at the one. Now here's Green. Irving, the pass to Powell. Back to Irving. From downtown, drains the triple. Well, Kyrie Irving has played with LeBron and Kevin Durant. He learned how to operate without the basketball. Outside Booker. Pass to Durant. Now here's Aiden. Five to shoot. Booker finds Paul. From behind the arc. Oh, great D that time from Doncic. Here are the Mavericks now with the ball. It's a three-point game. They went to Phoenix for their last meeting with the Suns. Came out with a victory. Yeah, they were rock solid in that one. The score was close, but they showed great resolve and got it done. Now here's Paul. 11 points for him last game against Chicago. And his passing was simply amazing. A lot of fun to watch. And this Mavericks team, Grant, they are loaded up on shooters who can hurt you from outside. And that's the way they should be built. Force teams to spread out and give Luka space. And when the Mavs get hot from outside, they are dangerous. Booker against Irving. Pass to Aiden. Aiden with the stuff. The Court vision, intellect, basketball IQ, the masterful distributor that is Chris Paul. Green against Durant. Green, the pass to Irving. Shoots over Booker. Here's Powell. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. I think this is where Powell is really trying to improve, right? Sacrificing his body, taking it right to the defense. And the Phoenix Suns have been a completely different team since acquiring Chris Paul. He's the leader of this team, and he helps set the tone on both ends. Now here's Booker. Coming off a solid outing against Chicago. Durant finds Aiden. Over Powell. Aiden, no good. Good shot, gone bad. Gotta finish there. Booker against Irving. And a nice finish on the layup. Irving's got five now. Boy, the city of Phoenix really embracing Chris Paul as soon as he arrived. Yeah, I mean, he's in the latter stages of his career now. But you would never know it based on how hard he plays every single night. He just makes everyone on this team so much better. Here's Booker. After the Mavericks pick it up a basket just a moment ago. They get it again. Aiden. 
And it falls. Yeah. Two for three from the field so far. Boy, you love what this guy is doing right now. He's taking smart shots, shooting a high percentage, starting to cook. Pass to Green. Puts up a three. Another three for Dallas. Pretty pass by Kyrie Irving. Nothing like making your teammate feel good right there. Outside Booker. Durant. The pass to Aiden. And here's Paul. That shot off. Oh, great D that time from Doncic. From seven feet. The Suns clear it. Outside Booker. Over Irving. And that one's long. The Mavericks leading. Pass to Doncic. Here's Bullock. Irving for three. And Aiden pulls it down. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. Booker can't get it to go. Boy, surprise team missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. Back to Doncic. Down low. Here's Irving. Excellent D there from Booker. Let's give some credit to the defense for how they're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. Kyrie Irving, first personal foul. And it's a completely new group here for the Mavericks. At the line for the Suns, Devin Booker taking two shots. And the first one at the line is good. You know, there was a time years ago when the Mavericks were one of the NBA's shakiest teams. Now they're one of its proudest franchises. And the Suns making a change here. Baisley, he's checked in for DeAndre Ayton. T.J. Warren comes in for Craig. Lee, he's checked in for Durant. And Payne is subbed in for Chris Paul. Here's Hardy. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Payne. The Suns have gone only three for nine from the floor. Booker for three. The shot no good. And it's Dallas the other way. And you can attribute the Mavs' rise to stable ownership and some very savvy front office moves. Yeah, so true, B.A. They've made some great decisions in the draft, for sure. They've been able to find cornerstone players and build solid rosters around them. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. Pass to Payne. Baisley in the post, working on McGee. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's on JaVale McGee. As Baisley continues to develop his game, earning opportunities at the free throw line critical. And because of the length and athleticism, Baisley can do a lot out there. He has that switchability on defense. He hits the glass so well. And I like where his offensive game is headed. Ross, he's checked in for Devin Booker. Here's Hardy. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Tries again. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Shooting for Phoenix. Terrence Ross at the line for one. That one drops. He ties it up. Man, a luxury for his coaching staff. Grant Baisley is happy playing a primary or secondary role. And that's not always the case. You know, B.A., sometimes ego can get in the way. But Baisley's just doing what he can to help the team achieve its goals. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Phoenix has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Pass to Lee. 56 seconds left to play in the first. Here's Ross. He's covered by Holiday. Ross can't get it to go. Dallas has gone three of four on threes here in this first quarter. Here's Hardaway. Another shot. It's tipped. Boy, T.J. Warren showing some activity on the defensive end. Great timing on that block. Outside Payne. 
Pass to Ross. Called in by McGee. The Mavericks have got 6 of 14 in so far. Here's Hardy. He's covered by Warren. Fires the three. Another three for Dallas. Hardy. Nine seconds left to play in the first. The three is up. He can't hit that time. And so it's Dallas with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. The hustle they've shown on defense has been tremendous. We'll be back in a moment. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Mavericks? Well, they've really been racking up three-pointers in bunches. They've been so impressive to watch. And that's what has them ahead in this game. Their floor spacing has been just tremendous. And so, in the game for Phoenix, we've got Chris Paul, T.J. Warren out there with DeAndre Ayton. Yeah, then it's Terrence Ross, and it's Durant in a small forward. Well, that's a determined scorer right there. DeAndre Ayton showing a little toughness on the interior finish. Here's Doncic. Count it. And the Mavericks lead by six. That lack of defensive intensity is not going to stop a player of his caliber from scoring. Outside Ross. Pass to Durant. Over Green. That's good from Durant. On the assist by Ross. Yeah, great anticipation of where the open man was going to be. And Terrence Ross finds him immediately. That's really pretty. Now here's Kleba. He's covered by Warren. Now here's Doncic. Ooh, Aiton with the block. Boy, Aiton's reach is absolutely incredible. Great anticipation. That is nice defense. Here's Durant. It's deflected. And now the Mavs on the run. Doncic against Paul. Here's Powell, and the layup is good off the glass. Powell's got five. Yeah, because Luka Doncic is such a threat to score it, it opens up the passing game, and boy, it is on display right now. Puts it up. Nice shot by Durant. This guy, a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive, scoring the ball. The Mavericks have gone two of four here in the second quarter. And Dallas calls time here. So 2021 saw the addition of yet another honor to the resume of the great Kevin Durant. A selection to the NBA's 75th anniversary team. I don't think he needed cementing of his legacy, but it's just one more feather in his cap. Bullock, he's checked in for Powell. Craig is checked in for the Suns. Devin Booker comes in for Ross. All right, let's hear it one more time for your favorite game. Knocked away. Craig with a steal. Pass to Paul. Outside Durant. And here's Booker. He's guarded by Irving. Back to Durant. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Now just a two-point Dallas lead. Even with all those accomplishments, Durant is just as hungry as ever, Doris. The B.A., to me, he's always just in a competition against himself. He simply wants to play the best basketball night after night. Here's a guy who takes tremendous pride in being complete and perfecting his craft. And <laughs> once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. Now, here's Green. Kleba passes to Doncic. And a miss there on the triple. The Suns have gotten five of their first six attempts to fall in the second. Here's Paul. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Suns. They've been really going at the defense in the painted area. And so far, the opposition really hasn't had an answer for them. And the other thing I love, how they're making the extra pass. They're not settling for the first shot. They're going from good to great. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Back to Doncic. 
shoots over Paul. Dallas again missing. And it's Phoenix's ball. They're on a 13-4 run. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Well, we look at the fluidity in the screen and roll. DeAndre Ayton, so good at taking what he sees in these sets. And Dallas calls time here. Across the league, we've seen a lower number of free throw shots per game. Doris, has that stuck out to you? I think we've all noticed it, certainly, Brian. And there was a long stretch of time where the rules tilted heavily in favor of the offensive player. I think now the league is trying to get back to a happy medium where the physicality is allowed to just go up just a touch. And I think it's 100% appropriate. Doncic. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Shots Boy, and the foul. Doncic has got great upper body strength. He completes the play. Nicely done. Woods checked in for the Mavericks. Hardaway comes in for Green. And you look at the intangibles of Luka Doncic. He has some of the best court awareness in the league. And that shows up most with his passing and body control. And the way Doncic can feel the defenders around him speaks to his great court sense, Brent. Uh, no question. And the elite footwork he has makes the most of it. I mean, one of the best at shielding defenders with his body. It's really how he can navigate through a defense with ease. And when Aiton isn't playing he's basketball, good. either the First live or video ball. game version, Second he's often drawing. Yeah, I mean, he grew up and wanting to be an architect. I actually hear that he loves blueprints. But probably his most famous sketch himself dunking on Joel Embiid his rookie year. That free throw misses. I'll tell you, this guy already a double-double threat nightly. And DeAndre Ayton's ceiling is still high. Now he's got to go ahead and reach those expectations by putting in the work. McGee, he's checked in for Doncic. Dane's checked in for the Suns. Here's Bullock. He picked up 15 in their last win against Philadelphia. To the paint. Here's Irving. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Second what fascinates time. me about Kyrie Irving, clearly he is one of the most skilled guards to ever play. Ask his counterparts, other NBA players, who their favorite basketball player is, who the most complete player is. The answer will be Kyrie Irving. First free throw is good. And again, about Kyrie Irving, we really are witnessing one of the best point guards to play the game, Doris. B.A., one of the best scoring guards we have ever seen. His handle is elite. It gives you some sense of how much the position has evolved. Point guards almost must score as much as they facilitate. Hardy, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line. And boy, has his stroke been on the money. Here's Booker. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. And the Suns lead by two. After a cold first quarter, they brought up their field goal percentage, trying to build out this lead now. <laughs> Did you see that? Look at the elevation on that dunk, B.A. Man, he just cocked it back and fired it down with one hand. And Phoenix has possession. After the Mavericks pick it up a basket just a moment ago. Booker, the pass to Payne, to the inside. Here's Durant, and he gets it to go. Four for six so far. And now, almost all their points coming from the paint. Dallas has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Back to Irving. 152 left in the first half. That gives him the lead. Hardaway's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. I just love how confident Tim Hardaway Jr. is from long distance. This guy will cash in from there. Outside Payne. Oh, McGee with the block. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. Hardaway, the pass to Irving. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And it's going to go on Cameron Payne. Guys, you have to love the way Irving uses his body to create contact inside and earn the trip to the strike. I love it. In attack mode, drawing foul calls this quarter and getting to the free throw line. The Suns making a switch here. Warren's checked in. Oh, 
Both free throws good from Irving. I think one of the things you have to be in awe of is how creative and how elusive Kyrie Irving is to deal with when he's cooking offensively. This guy truly a remarkable talent. Now here's Payne. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. McGee with a steal. One minute left in the first half. Shoots a fadeaway. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Well, they put up a nice win against Chicago last time out. And we all know that on the road, you don't usually look so comfortable on the offensive end. But that was the story of the game. It came down to execution. No wasted possessions. And that is absolutely essential trying to win on the road. Shot clock at six. Denied. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Hardy. Back to Hardaway. There's the three. Counted from distance. Hardaway's got six. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Now Booker. Here's Payne. And so it's the That's Dallas the Mavericks with leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. I'm here with Monty Williams and Coach. Certainly some areas. Thanks very much, Allie. We'll be back soon to start the second half of basketball. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this. Dallas has the edge here at halftime. They have the six-point lead. Kenny, how'd you see it? You have to recognize their bench play. Sometimes we overlook the second unit. But tonight, they've been the key. The coaching staff has got to be loving this. Getting that extra boost is huge. And over to Shaq. What did you think about Phoenix? They got rained on from three. Now the shooters deserve some credit. They did hit a few contested shots, but the defense deserved more of the blame because there were still way too many wide-open looks. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See you, everybody, with Kevin Harlan. So far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. We're seeing a tremendous game from DeAndre Ayton. You just love his patience offensively in the first half. Waited until he got the looks he wanted. You know, as a coach, you can preach good shot selection, but it's up to the players to execute, and this guy has done just that. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. We've got Dwight Powell. Reggie Bullock is out there with Green. Then it's Luka Doncic, and it's McGee in at the two. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Doncic right side. Pass to Powell. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Powell's got seven points in the game. Tell you, even with some physical contact, Powell gets it done. Love is persistence. Outside Booker. Durant, pass to Aiden. Here's Booker. Great D that time from McGee. Got the ball where he wanted it, but then got swarmed. And stolen by Durant. And the Suns pushing it up now. Now here's Craig, tightly guarded. Phoenix no good that time either. Boy, that makes him 0 for 3 to start the second half. Not the start you were hoping for here. And the move that really that shook up fun. the NBA world. I mean, Kevin Durant asking and receiving a trade out of Brooklyn. Now, with this team, he makes them a title favorite overnight. And how about that replay? Man, you got to appreciate the hustle on defense. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will 
get an energy boost off a block like that one. Kyrie Irving's checked in for the Mavericks. And with a little over a minute gone by, the second half is underway. Inside. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. 11 points in the game. Boy, at the rim, an undersized guard, Kyrie Irving, may be the best to ever do it. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. Yeah, and with a finish like that, you know he's looking to extend the lead and put this game out of reach. Now here's Craig. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Step back and fire. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Well, they get one to drop. A little relief after four straight misses to start the half. Pass to Doncic. Here's Green. Now here's Irving. 16 feet out. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiton's got six rebounds in the game. The Suns have gotten just one of five shots to drop since halftime. Here's Craig. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. And that one falls to Craig. Ross, he's checked in for the Suns. He's off on the second. One for five has got to be a frustrating start, and they just don't look sharp right now. Can they find their offensive game? Soft interior D, and they've exploited it. Here's Paul. After the Mavericks picking up a basket just a moment ago. Pass to Aiden. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It goes on to White Powell. I'll tell you, when DeAndre Ayton is looking to score, he is a handful. Forces the defense into a compromising situation. Ayton hits them both. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Outside, Green. Durant, second personal foul, first team foul. Now at the line for your Mavericks, Josh Green at the line for two. That free throw, no good. Good on the second one. The Suns trailing. Outside Durant. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Ball finds Durant. And here's Craig. Pass to Paul. Five on the clock. Here's Aiton. And there's the bucket. Staying with it that time. Offensive glass getting it done. This guy a relentless force on the glass. DeAndre Aiton going to work and getting the put back. Now Green. Powell with it. He's covered by Aiden. Outside for Green. Powell in the post. He's covered by Aiden. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Boy, Powell is proving to be a handful inside. Does a good job utilizing his long arms to get the call. A different look for Dallas. Kleba, he's checked in for Bullock. Hardaway comes in for Green. And Holiday subbed in for Irving. And a change for the Suns. Warren's checked in. Now here's Ross. Taking a look at his production. Averaging just over eight points a game. Outside Warren. Goes up and lays it in. Nice and easy. Warren's got his first basket. Well, you like the effort of T.J. Warren capitalizing when he's shooting in the painted area. Outside Hardaway. Pass to Kleba. Doncic on the wing. He's guarded by Paul. Steps back and shoots. No good off the back of the rim. 
The Suns have gotten just three of eight shots to go in the third quarter. And Luka Doncic is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. And the Mavericks making a change here. Woods checked in. Ross with it. Guarded by Kleba. Outside Payne. Pass to Baisley. Uncovered. Off the left rim and out. Dallas has gone 6 of 9 from 3-point range. 12 feet. Holiday from long range. That one falls. Great set up by Doncic. Doncic has got 3 assists in the game. Great finish. What a set up. Terrific ball movement there. Back to Payne. 2 minutes. Pass to Ross. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First personal foul. Well, as far as nicknames go, Terrence Ross being called the Human Torch is pretty fitting, Doris. What a classic nickname for a player that can get hot at any moment. And boy, when Terrence is rolling, he is very hard to cool off. This is a guy we've seen rattle off 10, 15, even at times 20 straight points. That is the Human Torch personified. Hardy, he's checked in for Doncic. Here's Hardy. Kleba passes to Hardaway. From outside, off the mark. And the Suns shooting about 43% on this one. 18 feet out. And Ross with the basket. On the assist by Payne. Ross has got four points in the quarter. When the mid-range is working for Terrence Ross, he's going to create problems. It's just a matter of can he do it consistently. Back to Hardaway. Side Holiday, wide open look. Phoenix grabs the miss. Aiden's got a rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Warren with the ball, guarded by Kleba. Warren, the pass to Payne. Pass to Ross. Shot clock at five. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. Booker, he's checked in for the Suns. Now here's Wood. He's been an offensive weapon for them, scoring around 17 and a half points a game. Puts it up from 12. Here's Powell. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. You have to love the intensity that Powell plays with on the glass, using that long body to track down those offensive boards. Here's Lee. Looking for his first basket still in this one. That is now his seventh field goal in ten attempts. Impressive. Good possession there. Exactly the way they drew it up. Here's Irving, and it's Phoenix with the rebound. Aiton's got 11 rebounds in the game. Here's Booker. Ooh, good work defensively by Holiday. And we've reached the end of the third. Mavericks ahead, they lead by five. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling here on 2K Sports. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And just a selfless decision from your two guard, showing his ability to get his teammates good looks. How about the secondary playmaking you are getting? Great to have that from the shooting guard spot. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. On the court for the Suns, getting the fourth quarter going. The deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt. DeAndre Ayton is out there with Torrey Craig. And it's Durant in at the three. 
Man, yeah, good whistle there. Four personal fouls. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Dallas. for Dallas. Their hot shooting from long distance has been the key. Facing the floor and rising up with that confidence. You know what else has been important is they've been focused and they have gotten themselves to the line. Made their free throws, doing all the little things. Now here's Durant. Craig on the wing. To the middle. Oh, deflected. Powell with a steal. Pass to Doncic. Here's an eight-footer. Trained it for two points. And they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. Doncic against Paul. And here's Durant. Doncic pulls down the board. Dallas has gone 7 of 11 from outside the arc. Nice percentage from distance so far. Pass to Green. Irving with it. Clock at 6. Green finds Irving. For 3. And Aiden pulls it down. aiden has got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Well, after hitting one triple in the first half, it's been all radio silence since. Now here's Durant. And there's Aiden on the assist by Durant. Durant's got five assists in the game. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Here's Irving. And he lobs it up. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. To the inside. Booker. And Booker with the jam. Well, make the right play at the rim. Devin Booker sees an opportunity and doesn't hesitate. The Mavericks leading. On the wing. Green. Outside Irving. Jacks up a three. Dallas again missing. And guys, this has got to be more of a team effort. Right now, he's playing all for himself. Paul passes to Duran. That's tipped. It's stolen by Doncic. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Here's Bullock, defended by Craig. Just five to shoot. Back to Doncic. There's the triple. Phoenix grabs the miss. Every player goes through this. When your shots aren't going down, it can ding your confidence. And Paul timeout, gets timeout. it to go. And for a smaller player, this Paul appears so comfortable on the interior. He knows he can score from this area. And Dallas calls time here. It looks now like he's in a lot of pain. They call timeout, and the trainer's going to have a chance to check him out. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Thanks, guys. Jason Kidd had some words for his team over the break. He wants all they have to give coming down the stretch, saying, quote, it's not just the big plays. I want to see us making the little plays, too. Winning the 50-50 balls. That's the effort we need. Thanks for that, Ali. Took the opportunity when he saw it. Man, that is ridiculous range from Luka Doncic. Yes, step across half-court line. I'm in my range. Pass to Booker. Back to Duran. Outside Paul. Let's it go. Another one falls for Phoenix. And both teams playing with a little more urgency in this half. They are getting after it hard. It has become a real battle out there. Now here's Green. Kicks it to Doncic. And that's out of bounds. Dallas will keep it. Shot from the inbound. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Well, this is a decent free throw shooter. And where Powell could help himself is getting to the line a little bit more. Powell. Two shots. 
And the second free throw is good. Well, the critical free throw was the one to make it a two-possession game, and he got it. Outside Durant. Outside Paul. Pass to Aiden. Back to Paul. Over Doncic. Paul, shot is off. The Mavericks have gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. Here's Green. It doesn't go for him. And Phoenix the other way now. Pass to Craig. Booker with it. The kick out to Paul. Shoots over Powell. Here's Craig. Soft touch off the glass. Zero rim protection. Unforgivable in a tight ball game like this. You know, we talk about execution offensively coming down the stretch. To me, it's as important defensively, and they didn't have it. Now, here's Green. Back to Irving. Tries it from 19. And Aiden pulls it down. You kind of wonder where his head's at. The shot selection hasn't been there. And of course, that one was just crazy. Here's Durant. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot. So he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Hardaway's checked in for Green. Kevin Durant. One shot. It's tied up with that one. Well, this is why you run your offense through him in important situations. You know he's going to deliver. And Dallas calls time here. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with matchups? All right, we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Chris Paul. Yeah, really the standout element of this game tonight was his offense and his ability to get in but cutting the defense to shreds, finding lanes, even making them, and relentlessly attacking the hoop. And so it's Dallas with it. They've led by as much as 10. Ones in the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Boy, that's the last thing they needed. This game too close to be making those kinds of errors. A minute 31 left in the fourth quarter. Booker against Irving. Booker, the pass to Craig. And here's Booker to take the lead. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. And the Suns lead by three. That's one of those clutch shots he's known for. When the pressure is high, he seems to be the most locked in. Paul against Doncic. Kicks it out to Hardaway. Gets some space and buries the jumper. Well, how about the competitive nature of Tim Hardaway Jr.? Important spot, no problem. Booker against Irving. Pass to Aiden. Second shot opportunity. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It goes on Dwight Powell. For big, Aiden is pretty solid from the line. He could have this in the bag. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a three-point game. There's 42 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Doncic. Yes! And that one brings it within one. And the stakes were high right there. What the fuck? I'll tell you, that changes things, doesn't it? Good job, young fella. What a game. Phoenix no good that time either. Time called here. The Mavericks decide to talk it over. They trail by one. 23 seconds left in the game. Hey, your deep They're set to take control of this game. It's crucial that they convert here. In 
into the lane. Ooh, offline. With the absolute last person this team wanted to send to the free throw line in a tough moment is Luka Doncic. He relishes these chances. At the line for two. He gets the first, and that ties this game up. And so he's good on both free throws, and that gives him a lead. At the end is huge in this league. So many games are decided by razor thin margins. Time called here. The Suns decide to talk it over. They're behind by one. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? This is where your coaching is so important. They need a really good play now. Well, this is a chance to take the lead. So you've got to draw up play to make it happen. Yes! Confidence is off the charts. It's money in the bank. And Doncic puts up a deep three. Oh, that shot had a chance. But the all or nothing shot attempt is off the mark. So it's the Suns taking the W in a close one. With the late victory, they upset plenty of these hometown fans. They really should take this win to heart. When the pressure was on, they stepped up and worked twice as hard to overcome it. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and our entire crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. So long, everybody.